Hello, people. I'm yes. I am on a roll today. But I guess it's because I'm using the dum 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 lab cam. Anyway, and I'm not editing shit, so y'all gonna see me all not sober and <laughs> shit. Anyway, guys, this is for my crafting friends. Hi, y'all. Uh, I'm very new to the crafting community and I saw a lot of mini albums and if you follow me you'll see that I have lots of playlists, mini album uh, selections that I've been making for the past like few weeks so mm, that's what I've been watching. I've been watching crafting and mini albums because I am making a mini album and yes I mean I, mean, I am I got it right here and I'm so new to it. I've never made one. And I watched a tutorial and I've been watching lots of tutorials on how to make them. And I am, I think, I think I've gotten two pages, um, finished and I'm scared, y'all. I feel like I'm doing it wrong, but I just wanted to show you guys what I have made so far. <clears throat> okay. Don't know how to get part of your it. I don't know why I just try to speak that stereotypical fake Chinese. Okay. This is hard. Let me see if I can turn the computer so that I can so much. Um this is working. Oh, you know why it's not working? Because I'm trying to show this. Okay, so this is the book. Um it's a pretty big book. I don't even think it's gonna fit in the frame. Okay, yeah, I have it in the frame. It's a pretty big book. I think it's 10 something by 9 something. I'm, I cannot tell you the exact measurements of this book because there's something thrown off. They're not even numbers because this is a paper bag mini and the paper bags are not an even number. They're like 5 point something by 8 point something. You know, so Therefore, I can't really tell you the exact measurements. Well, I don't have the exact measurements of my paper bag mini album. And so it is made by, um, we use a little technique to um, join the paper bags, two paper bags together. This is a double. I'm, I'm looking funny because I have a glare and, let's see. I have to have that light on, but I have to have But, um, two paper bags and they're um, fitted together and that makes and the thing that we fitted together with was a piece of paper that I had to remember how to multiply fractions to do you know you're in school and they tell you to learn how to multiply fractions and all of that is dandy when you still have to test on that stuff I tested on a fraction since I took my test to get into nursing school and when I went I sat down to make my stuff I realized I had forgotten how to multiply fractions. I had to um, ask one of my one of my friends, who's a school teacher, to um, give me a crash course. But anyway, this is a story of my mini album, and this is the first page. And I have let's see, let me try to do like this. I have some little things that I have made. Almost everything in here is going to be handmade and hand cut. I do have a big cutter that, you know, the chopper ones that the teacher had at school. Like, like a chopper one. I have that one. I don't have the pretty one with the little things that, you know, precisely cuts the papers. And I don't have, I have a color book that I just got out of my eyes yet. And so everything has been hand cut. And so all of these, I don't have a lot of stencils. Everything is hand cut. And, and this is made with a lot of love, y'all. I'll tell you that. But this is the first page. Uh, I'm using two holes from Lost and Found paper. And so this is the first page. And I haven't, I haven't, I haven't covered my book yet. But this comes up and that, and it opens up. Let me see. This Okay, so like I said, it's on the first page, it 
poke it up and it has a flap to reveal this and it has two more flaps. So the first page, um, I have, this is just not going to work. I have, this is a pocket. On top of a pocket. On top of a photo mat. And so that is my first page, and then it opens, it flips out, and again there's another pocket and a little side. This is a pocket, and this is a little side pocket. And I made a tag. I just made this out of course stuff because I am running out of paper so fast. I'll fix that later. And so um, I also made two, two more of these little swivels. And so this opens down and this opens up. And then you have another pocket with the photo mat. This goes down, this goes up. And I'm I, like I said, I handmade everything in here, hand cut everything. And <laughs> Had a hell of a time measuring it, and I even had to learn how to do fractions again. So I'm having a ball with this album, and I hope whoever gets it likes it because it is for a swap. I want to keep it myself, actually. So this is the second page. I have a little stopper down here. Um, little stopper down here because this is actually a photo that it pulls out. And so you can actually put a picture right here if you want. And you can um, put a picture on photo mat and you can put one on the back and one on the front because it's just a piece of the smaller set of the paper that I got, the Tim Holtz paper. I think I have Ideology and Lost and Found, I mean Lost and Found and something else, I can't remember what the paper. And so this is my the page three and I have some butterflies on here that I have embossed and I actually in my mind, I should have put that butterfly over here so that you can put a picture here because this actually swivels. And so you can put a picture here and you don't have to worry about this getting in the way. But this butterfly right here might get in the way. And since I'm going with the, the, the torn, um, grungy look, I guess is what it's called, like grungy vintage, and my own stuff just mixed in, I think that I might take this off, this butterfly, because I really want this to be a photo mat. And just put a little bit of um, black ink to make it look like it's like a burn hole or just a real piece of paper. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it or not, but anyway, this folds up. And so you have a little foam mat here. And then you have a pocket. And the same with this. Well, when you want to lift, this actually holds this pocket closed a little bit. This foot, when you want to lift it, you just that foot up. And the same, it has a photo mat and a pocket. And that pocket has a tag in March. This one has a February, I mean, it's one for every month. And, it, and these big butterflies right here, I actually stamped those and fussy cut it. I fussy cut so much stuff that, oh my god. Like even that butterfly because he cut it. And um all of these, all of the butterflies actually were fussy cut it and I'm getting so proud of my fussy cutting. And so these are the only complete pages that I have. When you turn the page, I've actually started putting this page together. Page two back. I actually messed up. This was supposed to be my page two. I mean, no, page three. And this was supposed to be my page two. And it just didn't work out that way. But anyway, I'm going to have a photo mat, a belly band. Well, first I got a cover of paper, then a belly band, and a photo mat is going to go in here. And just, I'm just going to do paper on the flaps. And I'm thinking about putting some buttons to um, put a cord around to keep those closed. I ordered some magnets but they're not in yet and so I'm just making my album without magnets because I'm running out of time. I have a deadline. Um, I had some more paper on this and I really didn't like the way that it looked and so it's paper. I ripped it up but um, 
these two flaps are going to flap out this way. I have to look at my um, notebook. I wrote down all of my plans on how I wanted my book to look before um, I ever got started with anything. And so um, I, I can't tell you what's going to be on the next few of these pages without that notebook. But I just wanted to show you guys my progress so far and hope that I'm doing this right because this is, yes, y'all, I'm sitting, I'm in front of but this is the only place where I have good life. But I haven't put this, laid this down on anything. This is my lap. And I'm not going to let it down. My lap is dirty. I know how it is. But, um. Shoot. I hope that I'm not doing too much or too little. But, uh. Crafters, if you have any, you know, comments or anything, please leave them below. And, you know, give me some hints or something or let me know if I'm doing it right or doing it wrong. But, like I said, I haven't covered it yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out about some Tim Holtz vocals, but I don't know how it's going to work. I'll figure it out, though. Um, but I was looking for leather to make, like, a belt, and I was like, no... I'll just, you know, use some ribbon, but I don't know how to do the eyelet holes because I don't have an eyelet puncher and I'm just like, <sighs> and maybe I get off more than I can chew, but I don't think so. I might just have to change the design a little bit and save those vocals for something else and just use some ribbon to tie it. That's probably what I'm going to do, use some ribbon to tie the book. But I'm very excited about crafting. And so if you see a lot of it in my channel, me showing my different projects, it's because this is what I like to do. I like art. I always have. And this is so different from the norm for me. And so that's what I'll be doing. And you guys don't understand the amount of peace that I get when I'm doing it. Like there's this happiness and this peace, you know. That's my thing. Art is my thing. It might not be the best art in the world, but it's something that I took time out to create. You know, some people their thing is dancing, some people have, you know, everything. Some people's is music, mine is art. And so, to my lock wearers, my people who watch me just to see my hair, and do not get upset when y'all see a lot of crafting videos. In fact, I'm trying to keep them, um, I'm trying to put all of my craft videos in a playlist called my crafty self but that's it i'm gonna stop shooting our videos i'm gonna go find somebody to have fun with while i am not sober and get off of youtube i love you guys thanks for watching